Hey, it's Tina, Warthog Princess, and this is another Vera video, but not a haul. This was requested by Pug Paws, who asked me to put together a best of Vera video. I have to admit up front, these are very hard for me because I have such a love of Vera and such a broad spectrum of interest in it that on any given day, this list could change. So it is a snapshot. I went through my Vera room and closet over the last week or so and sort of put together a couple piles of things that are some of my favorites. So it's not by any means all inclusive. It's what struck me at the time. So here goes. All right, the first thing, and these are in no particular order, um, is scrunchies. Now, these may have been a thing in the past, but they've recently come back in. I obviously wear my hair up a lot, and I don't care if it's childish. I like scrunchies, and I said if they brought them back that I would buy a bunch, and guess what? I did. So this particular one, they come in sets of threes. This is the Deep Night Paisley, so you get the exterior pattern, the interior pattern, and then you get usually a neutral color with it. In this case, navy blue. So anyway, scrunchies, definitely something I use all the time. Next thing is pajamas. Let's talk pajamas. So I pulled out, they have a lot of different styles of pajamas and loungewear, but they're not all created equal. The materials are different, the styles, the shapes, the cuts, the sizing, it's all kind of different. And of the more recent stuff, they've gotten away from some of the things that I really, really like, unfortunately, but also the sizing currently tends to run small, in my opinion. So I've kind of steered clear. Plus the prices have doubled, so clothing, that's a thing. But these items, my favorite is this really lightweight jersey knit material. It is super soft, it has plenty of give, it's very comfortable, and it's very thin, which is, for me, wonderful because living in Arizona, they're great, they don't overheat you. And I prefer, like this one is, a, I think it's Kaleidoscope Rosettes maybe? I can't remember now, but that sounds right, looks right. Um, these particular ones, they're basic, and I would say these are lounge pants. Um, they have a drawstring, it is an elastic waistband, and they are, you know, good interior. They have pockets on the front, no pockets on the back, which is perfect. And these are just basically a straight leg, which is my preference. So these are my favorite style of lounge pants. Second favorite is this style. Now this is in, um, gosh, I wanna say it was like the, it's Berry Palms or something. Anyways, Berry Burst, Berry Burst. And I like this a lot. It has a nice, loose, flowy top. It does have an edge trim on it, so that's a nice touch um, on the inside of the bottom. The top has the pop of color, and there you go. It is long sleeve, but super comfy, and they do have a little bit of a cuff on there. I know it's black, so you can't see, but it's loose. It's comfortable. Very, very nice. The bottoms to that are very similar to the kaleidoscope ones I just showed, except that, oh, the pocket's sticking out. <laughs> After I washed them, I didn't put it back away. These ones have the pockets on the side instead of like on the front. They're kind of a little, well, actually, they're just lied, they're the same. Um, but on the bottom of these ones, they're loose bottom, but they do have a cuff on them. So it's, it's not confining, um, but they do kind of help the pajamas stay down on your legs just a little bit better than the open leg. I still prefer the open leg. I just, I don't know. I like them both very much. My third favorite pajamas are the, I think they're called Henley style. And this particular one, I'm sorry, uh, this is Lilac Tapestry. The Henleys are um, also very super soft, lovely material. It's a little bit thicker than what I would say the jersey knit, um, but these ones um, have a little bit more robust waistband. They still have pockets and a drawstring. And then on the back of these, there is one pocket. It's small, not really good for much, but it would fit my phone, sort of. And on the bottom of these, just like the berry burst ones, they do have a cuff, 
but this one is um, sort of a knit material instead of that jersey. But you can see the cuff is really loose. So if you're looking for like a tight cuff, these are not them. Um, and no, my ankles didn't swell them out. They're just that way and I like that loose fit. I just find it more comfortable, more airy. Um, those ones, here's the top, the Henley style top. Again, it's long sleeve, so this would be like the winter pajamas, if you will. And have a button down front part way. There's a little pocket here that's just really, it's decorative, it's tiny. And then sleeves have cuffs and it's just a straight bottom. So very, very comfortable. And the extra large in all of these fits me. And so that's great. All right, on the subject of loungewear, the next item, I actually pulled out three, so, so a little bit of variety, but I love their cozy slippers. These are fairly new item, and it's my favorite version of their slippers, even though I have multiple versions. So I brought out, I've got the Bears, I've got the Fox, and I've got just the uh, Sweethearts and Florals. But all of these, here, let's look at the Bear. Uh, maybe not, because you can't see as well. But the Fox, you can see it has that cozy Sherpa interior. They do have a little bit of elastic in the back. They have no slip grippy dots on the bottom, which is very um, important because they are otherwise very slicky. But the outside really soft and they're super cute. And I will tell you, um, because I have this weird medical thing that I end up in the hospital for like a month at a time, I take these and I change them out every day um, I wear them like socks in the hospital, if you will. Um, but I have a drawer full of these type of things. So when Vera came out with them too, I was totally on it. These are right up my alley and perfect for me. The next item, we're still in the uh, wardrobe department. This is the cozy um, robe. I'm not sure if it's called Cozy Robe, but they are the ones that have the Sherpa. It's not throughout, but it is lined on the hood and down the front side a little bit. These are just like the Cozy Blankets. They are the super soft fleece, if you will, the throw material, but it's softer. It's softer for some reason. Like if you know the difference between a regular throw and a Cozy Throw, this is Cozy Throw style. And of course, this is Cozy Throw style. Anyways, they wash well, they wear well. I got the extra large sizes because I like them to be loose and roomy and I like to layer under them. So yeah, 2X, 3X, and it's way huge on me, but I love it that way. So there you go. If you're in a bundle up, that's a great way to go. And they do have a tie string, you know, if you play. This one, sorry, Vines Floral. Okay, next, talking about throws, I do love Vera Blankets. You've probably figured out I have a gazillion of them, but my favorite of all time still is the Cozy Throws. The outer is just, it's so soft, and the Sherpa is so soft. They literally are cozy. I, I just like to squeeze them. They're just so soft. And they are warm, but they're not super heavy, which I, I like. So, okay, this pile's gonna be a problem. But next item, shifting gears a little bit. If you have seen previously, I went through a whole big thrash of travel jewelry organizers and uh, several different variations, a lot of different ones, Vera, non-Vera, etc. They're all great. I like them all for different reasons, different purposes. But this one is the one I went with. This one, again, is Vines Floral. It's a rather large one. It has a zip around closure and it does have a handle. It is a hanging jewelry organizer and it goes like this. So if you've watched my videos on that topic, you've seen this before. It has one zipper with three pockets, one zipper, two pockets. It has your earring or ring um, thing that unsnaps. It actually unsnaps on both ends. And then you have your necklace holders with pockets to help keep your necklaces from tangling. And then you have this bag down here on the bottom that zips closed and so you can store a lot in here. What I did was I had this and then I had, which I forgot to grab, but is one of the Vera's best, which is just that little pill case. And I use it to store earrings, like smaller earrings, not the dangly ones. The dangly ones go in here and then the smaller ones go in there and I put that here. If you have more necklaces, I use the roll, put those in there and then put that here. 
But when I was on the cruise ship for two months, this just hung on the wall and I could see all my jewelry really easily. So it's great. It's great for getting there, great for using, and you could use it as an everyday jewelry thing. Just my opinion, but, and I don't, obviously. I have something else for that. Next item. I love to have accessory bags for my handbags. If you've seen my What's in My Bag, you've seen it, and you will continue to see it because that's what I do. I like to be organized, and sometimes I match colors, sometimes I don't. So there you go. But I like these four-piece cosmetic sets. They are, this one's in Bramble, but they are really nice. The four pieces, you got the clear, you get the small round one. I say small, it's small to medium, it's fairly small. And then you got your clamshell cosmetic, one of my all time favorites, which I think I have separately, maybe, but if not, definitely one of the best. Um, you can buy these separately now, not just in the sets, but this is one of the reasons I love the sets is because of this piece. It's just a great size and shape and function. And then you get this larger piece, which is kind of like a medium cosmetic, but just a little bit different proportions. And these ones are plastic lined, but not patterned inside. So there you go. I have lots and lots of these and I keep buying them because they are just really great way and an economical way to get um, some accessory pieces for your handbags without paying a fortune for them individually. There you go. So that's why I like them. And when you can get these on sale, it's even better. Okay. Next item, backpacks. I'm a backpack girl. I love backpacks, all shapes and sizes. I am particularly fond of Vera backpacks, but I do like different materials. So this is a stack of backpacks. Not all of the backpacks are tops on my list, um, but here we go. Starting from kind of small to big, there you go. Um, I like the Hadley. I miss it already, even though it's just barely retiring and is still available in some of the outlets or the online outlets. I have most all the patterns that I want that have come out. Not all, but most. And I just really like it. It is slightly bigger than the small backpack, which I do also like a lot. I just prefer this over that. Um, probably the biggest reason is it's slightly bigger. It has this um, tech pocket versus inside. And the side pockets, even though they're not great for a water bottle, that's fine. I like that you can actually secure them, you know, like zip them up. And if your bag tips, you're not going to have everything fall out of that open slip pocket on the outside. So. I pick which ones I use based on what I like there. Next backpack, slightly bigger. This is the Day Tripper. Oh, I'm sorry. Moonlight Garden. Okay. This one is the Day Tripper backpack. This is Holland Bouquet. I really, really like the size of the backpack. It is, I would say medium size. I wouldn't even say small to medium. It's medium. And it has so much organization. It's just a great day tripper backpack. You can use it for parks, uh, picnics, hiking. You can use it just bopping around. You really could even use it as a purse backpack. It's a little big for that. But if you have like a big day and you got a whole bunch of stuff going on, you got some files, you got whatever. You can use it for a lot of things. Um, I really like it and I have a couple of them. But we won't go through all the details of these things because they've all got their own separate videos. But there you go. I will say that this one has that pale pink interior, which is really nice because it lights up the inside a little bit. So you not a big black hole inside. All right, next one is the Grand Backpack. I did a video with like a stack of Grands. Yeah, I love the Grand Backpack. And you're gonna see another one today on a separate video, um, which we'll get to. It'll be a surprise for later. But this one, this one is just a Grand Backpack. It's lighten up material, of course. And this one is, okay, it was Daisy Dot Paisley for the cotton. So this is Daisy Paisley for the lighten up version. I do, of course, on my backpacks, like to have a luggage tag that I just think it accessorizes nicely, but also if you ever got separated from your bag, it's a way to get, you're going to get it back, hopefully, you know, it's an idea anyways. Um, part of that comes from my military thing is any unaccompanied bags that weren't, you know, labeled or whatever. I mean, then they treat it like an explosive thing, which is prudent, but yeah, you would definitely lose it because they're going to take it out and blow it up and you don't want that label it with your contact info side story there but force protection is important so 
Definitely a big fan of Lighten Up, which is water resistant compared to the same style of backpack in the reactive material, which is water repellent. So it has more resistance to the water seeping in. These are not waterproof, I will say, because they've been ops tested and rain will kind of seep in, but it is better than cotton because that will soak it up like crazy. So there you go. And these are wipeable. Next backpack. Speaking of cotton, the campus backpack. So it's kind of the equivalent of the Grand, but in cotton. They have a little bit different configuration, a little bit different sizing, things like that. But basically that's to me comparison and I would call both of them a large backpack. So this one is Mickey and Friends. It's a couple patterns ago from Disney side. And obviously you have the pretty characters. I'll give you a moment because who doesn't love Disney? I do have a half-headed mini, but otherwise pretty good placement, I think. And there you go. This one, they didn't have luggage tags, so I put a pretty posies because even though it's a little bit darker gray, it kind of matches. It was the closest anyway, so there we go. I do love Mickey. All right. Well, Disney, not just Mickey. Next backpack. Okay, now we're stepping up in size to the extra large category. So we've done small, medium, large and now extra large. I love the journey backpacks. In fact, I just ordered another one and I have one in a haul that you'll see later today too. So definitely. Um, this one is in cut vines. This was my first one. In fact, I think it was the first one that Vera came out with because I grabbed it right up front. I was really excited about it. And there you go. I like this pattern too, by the way, because it's dark background, but subtly color colorful within those silhouettes of those pops of paint splash or whatever. Anyway, so the journey backpacks, awesome. There's a whole video about that too. <laughs> Next one is the extra large campus backpack. And up until yesterday, it was only available in cotton. Um, and I think microfiber maybe, but for sure it wasn't in lighten up and it wasn't in performance twill. But yesterday they came out with performance twill. So yep, I ordered that already. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this one is in Butterfly Flutter, which was a breast cancer pattern, as was the Pretty Posies. Um, but it's just a great extra large backpack. It's basically the Campus Plus. So not just in size, but you have like this extra recessed pocket up here. And it's definitely bigger overall, kind of in all directions. But I love, 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 love backpacks. Next one. Okay, speaking of performance twill. This is in Garden Dream. It's the commuter backpack. I actually haven't used this yet. I got it right before my big trip or right after, but I already had other stuff. So anyway, I really, really love this backpack. It is definitely an extra large backpack. Um, I would say comparable to the extra large campus, but it is um, more water repellent. So that is nice. It is sort of the midtown fabric, but quilted, which again is great. I just love the feel of it. I love the look of it. I think these um, silver looking zippers, they're super sleek. They work great. I think they look really sharp. I just think that's a great looking bag and very, very functional. So much organization and functionality. This is probably my favorite besides the journey. So this one and the journey right now are my top two. Journey does come in reactive as well but not in cotton, it's strictly a lighten up type materials. Okay, that's enough of the backpacks. Let's talk real quick about other travel bags. I love Weekenders, yes, and that is a classic. I have a whole stack of them. I like the Grand Travel. I like all those bags a lot, but not best of. And here's why I say that, because my go-to bag for my second carry-on, I have a 22 inch spinner, and then I have another bag. I more often than not, will go for the Grand Cargo. It's just, it's bigger, it's, it's, it's taller, it's roughly the same width, maybe slightly narrower, but for whatever the reasons, it just holds more of my stuff and, and it has just the right amount of organization. It, it's, it's cotton, so you don't have the lighten up option, but I just, I love it, I love this bag. So, inside, it's just a big cavernous space. It does have two slips on the back, two big slips, and that's pretty much it. So I can take all of my different cosmetics and things and organize the inside and find everything. 
which is great. Just put them in different colors. It has carrying handles like this, which is fine. It also has a adjustable, removable, padded shoulder strap with metal fittings. Definitely a good thing. If you go to the Lighten Up Weekenders, plastic. Yeah. It has a trolley sleeve on the back. It doesn't, it's not got the modern style with the zipper to make it a slip pocket. You certainly could add that, I guess. But it does have slip pockets on the side. But you can see the depth of the bag. It's, I just think it's bigger. It just holds more for sure. And it is a rigid bottom, which I also like a lot. So it stands very well on its own. So great bag. Love, love, love it. All right. Next item, speaking of organization, I do like, of course, all of the, oh, here it is right here. Let's talk cosmetic bags. Lots and lots of varieties of cosmetic bags. Okay, first let's start with this one. This is the clamshell. I, I knew it was in the pile, it just was buried. Um, so this one is in the blue velvet, so soft, love that. Um, cute little thing, it's a great, great size. You can use it as a tech case. Miscellaneous stuff, you could do makeup, you could do a first aid kit, you could do a lot of different things. Um, I just love them. They're a great size. The base of it, if you straighten it out, is kind of there. So it holds more than you think for what it is. And it's the same size as the ones in the four piece cosmetic kit. But these ones you buy alone. Most recently, I bought a couple of clamshell cosmetics and their retail price was like 50 bucks. I couldn't figure that out, that's crazy. But it turns out they're bigger. And I recently had a haul that I showed those. I was surprised by that, but that's fine. They're great, I like them. But this size specifically is what I call the best of, if you will. Next, speaking of cosmetics, I love to organize my purses and handbags and backpacks. So these small and medium cosmetics are perfect for me. I do like the mini, like the Travel Takes Mini Dome Cosmetic, but these are my preference. So. What I've grabbed is technically the mini cosmetic because they do large, medium, and mini, not small. But here you go. This one is, yes, it's a wonky shape. Not as bad as it looks, but it is misshaped. But this one is Deep Night Paisley Neutral. It is performance twill. So it's that quilted material that's water repellent. Um, but it's a basic construct, same as the cotton ones. The next one is a medium cosmetic in the outlet style, which I like. I actually prefer um, more often than not. This one is, I think, night and day. You can tell it's an older style because it has the trim, but it, it has that outlet style um, with the, the loop on the end. This particular one is plasticized, um, but the outlet versions usually aren't, which is fine because of what I use it for. And then, of course, the medium retail side, and this one is in Seahorse, of course. So inside you have the Sea Life, colorful Sea Life. So these, I think they're just great. Depending on what type or size of bag I'm using, I might use a medium or a medium or what I call small, but a mini, so, or the clamshell. All right, there you go with that. In line with cosmetics, one of my all-time favorite factory styles specifically is the Cosmetic Trio. Just like the four-piece cosmetic, this is a great way to get the most bang for your buck because they're so versatile. You have this small one, which is basically the same size as the retail side coin purse. Obviously, it doesn't have the organization inside, but that's fine. It holds a lot of different things. They are quilted inside, nylon, not plasticized though, that's fine. There you go. Small, medium, and large. These two I use for organization a lot. This one, more as a coin purse, or these hold my reusable masks perfectly. So I use them a lot for that. And this, oh, I'm sorry, LA Flowers. Ooh, purple. Okay, same idea, but in a different material. I bought these, this is a Midtown one, and I'm gonna say it's a Hawthorne Rose, but it does have that other pattern which has another name I forget but it comes as a set and they come with a, a wristlet type strap that has its own clip so they can clip together with metal loops on them um, but I love the midtown fabrication and which lends itself into the performance tool but for this type of an item it's actually really great because when you're traveling um, they're great they hold a lot of stuff 
you can get up in there and they're water resistant and anyway I like them a lot and I, I found that out by accident I had only bought them um, on one of the online outlet sales so it's a great great time to find something in the clearance section and just give it a try for like no risk because they're so cheap not always but sometimes and that was where I pulled this down and and fell in love with it and then that led me to these and also to these this is the pencil pouch trio these I got from the paper store I've got a couple more of them I either from the paper store or from Amazon I think so I have like four different sets now um, but I love them the same reasons I like the trio and the duo <laughs> from the Midtown but these are a different material they are like nylon like a windbreaker kind of nylon but they are they're great they come on a quick release loop and they have their little metal things they can clip apart or whatever great great sizes the smaller two I use in my handbags the other one I use like in a travel bag or backpack great stuff and they hold a ton Ooh. there we go next item this is the laundry bag or the cinch laundry bag I think the retail side calls it I brought out both for comparison but I have the factory style and I have the retail style honestly I prefer the factory style um, yeah so why do I prefer it well it has these kind of ropes which just work better it has a double cinch which is great and really easy to do and undo the, the carrying strap is a strap it's nylon it has you know it's adjustable there you go and then it has this little pocket on the outside which you can't put much but you can put you know your quarters or some dryer sheets or something just whatever you need to go do laundry or use it as a travel bag I use these all the time loading and unloading my trailer and while I'm traveling I use them for laundry and other things traveling in, on the road I don't fly with them and take them on a cruise or something like that but um, not that you couldn't so they are a bucket style they have just like a ditty bag a big rounded bottom and all that but the retail side and this one is in um, Firefly Garden and this one and the outlet side is the Dana Swirl one of my favorite patterns we're not doing best of patterns today that will have to be another video these two would be tops on that list though uh, for what that's worth but anyway so this one is a different style it has um, instead of like the outlet side the drawstrings right at the top edge this one has it's recessed it's right here you can see that stripe and it's where is it it's not separate drawstrings that you can cinch it actually the strap itself is the cinch which has its advantages and disadvantages mostly I don't like it because it just doesn't cinch as well it does have this sliding you know push to push to lock thing but then this is your strap and I will tell you if you load this down at all this cuts in your shoulder so much so fast it's just not comfortable the advantage of it is it's easier to use like a backpack you just separate them and you can put it on your back you can do that with those other straps and when you do that is more comfortable it's just not as as straight if that makes sense anyway the other thing about the retail side it has handles here on the inside you can hold it like a, a hamper and then it has also this piece inside which is just a netted bag and it has a zipper to close and you can disconnect it has its own lanyard so it's hooked in but you can disconnect it well, like quick release thing and there you go so that's the laundry bags love them I have mm, five or six or anyways, I have a lot of them all right speaking of bandana swirl one of the next items that I think is the best of is the sunglass case this particular one is factory style of course it is a hard case and has a magnetic closure they fit a wide variety of sizes and shapes of sunglasses I even have some glasses in them I didn't put that as the best of Vera but actually could qualify as well let's look at these these ones are mini medallion 
I have a whole, whole bunch of sunglasses from Vera, and I do like them. I prefer the polarized ones, just because they're better for your eyes, but you also see differently. But there you go, sunglasses and sunglass case. I like some of their other cases as well, including the big old clamshell, but they're just bulky. These are a great size, throw them in your bag, your car, your backpack, and very protective. So there's that. Next item, I like the flip-flops, which growing up, I think I've said this before, what everybody calls flip-flops now, like Vera's flip-flops, those to me were thongs growing up. I know thongs are underwear now, that's a different thing, but I'm older, what can I say? But a thong versus these to me were flip-flops growing up. Um, I guess Vera calls these or Crocs, they called them slides. That's fine too, just semantics and terminology. Um, so slides or flip-flops versus thongs and flip-flops and whatever. But this was the Crocs collaboration. I, I do like Crocs. I generally don't wear this type, um, but they are perfect for when I'm in and out of the RV or just run outside and walk the dogs or whatever. Quick, short stuff. Great for the pool in the backyard. Super fun and colorful. I just love them. Um, I do actually, my first Crocs, because I don't like the classic style, I like these little like ballet slipper ones. These ones are older. They have like a little strap. But anyway, it's just Crocs, super comfy. They did come out with one of these in the Vera Prince, but everything sold out so fast. I totally missed the boat on that. But on the second round, I got these and I couldn't be happier because I have those other ones anyway. Best of.